I have to just say on a personal note, this is such a thrill for me, <laughs> being a half Welsh girl, it really, really is. Um, before we talk about the documentary, mm. tell us what was the reaction of your family and your teammates when you told them that you were gay? Normal. Um, just got on with it. And, and that was all I really ever wanted. I didn't want to be praised and I didn't want to be put down. My fear was being put down. But it was just another day and, and get up and get on with what you do best and that's go out there and, and do us proud. But when you went out there in the Millennium Station, Stadium for the first time, mm. were you not concerned about what the reaction oh, might be? Massively. And I think that's the thing, as, as, as a sportsman, you're almost a sitting duck, you're a target, and people want to create environments that's quite hostile. Um, and obviously I'd made myself a target. I'd given people something that was, to me, a weakness. It was a sign of weakness and people could hurt me with that. But you know what? In the games I played since since my announcing my, my sexuality, then I, I had you know a few instances, mm. but overall, which I like to work on a case of overall basis, it was ultimately amazingly positive. And that, yeah. in in respect, is it's, we shouldn't say it's lucky; it should be the norm. But it mm. is lucky for you because you're now doing a documentary looking at the other side, the beautiful game, should we say, of football? Yeah. Not so beautiful when it comes down to sexuality. I mean, there's five thousand sort of very prominent footballers that we know in this country, not one of them has come out as gay, but uh, in your experience, obviously being a sportsman in the industry, has anyone ever came to you maybe quietly and said, look, this is who I am, but I can't do it? Yeah, I've, I've had sports people, never a, never a footballer that I know of, I've had sports people, and I think what we need to remember is, like, different sports create different environments, mm. um, and also different countries we live in and different religions that we are brought up in, different parenting. Everything has kind of an influence on you, whether it be negatively or positively. And a lot of the message I were getting from people, you know, I realised finally how blessed and how lucky I was. Firstly, to be Welsh, but to be born into a Welsh family of amazing people that supported me. And some people, and a lot of people out there within certain sports don't have that. They don't have that advantage. You know, like a uh, House of Commons committee select sat down and they, they pinpointed football as being homophobic compared to all other sports. And why is that? What is it about football? What is it that makes someone like Justin Fashionu commit suicide after uh, coming out? It, it's really interesting, because actually making a documentary, I found out so much, because people walk into the football ground as a, as a family man, woman, brother, sister, and the minute that whistle goes, they become completely different people, and mm. they say things and chant things that would never be said. Now, I, I, I must stress, though, it's definitely the minority, but for me, that was the most frustrating thing, because a minority should be the easiest thing to get rid of. Unfortunately, yeah. a minority is all you hear sometimes, it, especially but, standing on that pitch. And especially when they're that fierce and that aggressive. Yeah, and, and, it's and, the aggression in there that's terrifying. And I think that's the thing, is, is the majority are afraid of the minority because they do give it out with, with, with that much aggression and, and that much passion. And, and literally, I went to a football game and the whistle went and it just started. The whistle mm. went for half time, people are sitting there texting their families, texting home, getting out their sandwiches, having a little picnic, and the whistle goes again and they're straight back talking, into it. Talking of football, Greg Clark, yeah. chairman of the <laughs> FA. Yeah. I mean, I was quite shocked when I read this this morning. I think I understand it to a certain extent, but I want to get your views. Uh, He's uh, publicly come forward and said he wouldn't recommend yeah. a player coming out in yeah. the game. What do you And has he come that? back to you personally? Well, he, he's never got back to me. I tried to him for 16 weeks, he never got back to me to be a part of it. And you'd think... You know, you make that statement, and sadly, the statement is true. Mm. But ultimately, he runs the FA. So if anybody can make that statement change... It's definitely at the top. He, he admitted it. So do something about yeah. it. Don't just yeah. go away and say, oh, I've admitted to it, so that makes it OK. Admit it and make change. Mm. What would be your personal message to sportsmen and women and footballers who are wanting to come out? Do you know what? People in general respect honesty. And if the honesty is something people can't deal with, then that's fine. You have people who are close to you, and then people close to you are all that really matters. You can try and please everyone all the time, as a lot of people do, mm. but you can't. Please the people who are close to you, be honest. Nobody can knock you for being honest, no one. Gareth, it is a real pleasure to sit here. I'm a Obviously, gay man myself, yeah. And, yeah. and to see what you're doing, I think it's amazing. It's Gareth Thomas versus Thank homophobia, you. hate in the beautiful game. Uh, it's already shown in Wales, but it's on at 10.30 on BBC Two on Sunday. Good luck with everything, and hopefully we'll get a reply from Greg Clark by yeah. the end of the show. That would be quite nice. We might Thank do you. that.